I'm gonna show you installing an outlet, a switch, and a light. The layout, the placement, and the actual wiring of these um, the boxes, these device boxes. So it'll be an outlet, switch, and a light. Pretty simple, straightforward, two wire circuit. To get started, you only need a few things. You need three boxes, switch boxes, get a round box I'm gonna install. You can use a tape measure to um, figure out your height of your switches. Switches are usually around 48 inches high. And you can use this for your plugs, which is around 16 inches high. But like, you can make a story pole, and then you can use this to go around and mount your switches. So then this can just be here with the story pole, like this. And you can mount your switch boxes. That way they're all your switch boxes are all the same. And you don't have to go around with a, with a tape measure, marking, placing, nailing. You just go around each one. And then what I like to do to save a little bit of time with the tape measure, my hammer works out really well. If you're working with someone, just make sure you guys are using the same hammers for outlet height if you're using the hammer for outlet heights. Alright, so now we have our switch and our outlet box installed, so now we're going to install a box for our light. I'm using this bar box. So this is the bar box, forge round new work bar box. Very adjustable, so you can mount it in between studs. You'll have an adjustability. You can do it in the ceiling, same type of thing. So the only trick here is, is when you want, want to line it up for your drywall, these, these tabs sit further back. So you have to do a little bit better at your measurements to get this in, right, in the right place. I'm just gonna put this up for the example on wiring these. So. And for this example here, I'm gonna mount this box on this side of this bag. Now that we have our boxes in place, let's throw some wire in. So I'm going to use 14-2 Romex, good for 15 amps. Consider this just a general lighting circuit in house. So it's going to be a 15 amp circuit using 14-2 Romex. Let me show you how to put this wiring in. You're going to want to knock out these tabs for your wiring right in here. You knock, you knock them out and then you can get the uh, wire in. Okay, now that we have this all, the wires in place and everything, we'll just staple them before we make up the boxes. We have the boxes mounted, the wires are run, wires are cured. 
let's make up the boxes. Uh, we'll strip each location before we make them up. So we'll start with the light switch first. A lot of different types of strippers out there. Um, I use just a razor knife. Um, we used to use a little butterfly stripper, which was really cool. I haven't been able to find one for years. But my, my, my preferred method is with a razor knife. Only thing is you guys have to watch out for your fingers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to install a feed. We could either install it into the switch box or into the outlet box. We're going to do the outlet box there so it's a, more of a straightforward feed connection. We'll cover other types of feeds in the future. All right, now that we have all the boxes mounted, wires run, secured, stripped, and we have the feed in, it's time to make up these boxes. We'll start with the switch. So that's how you do a rough wire install. So now that we have the rough wire installed, we'll pretend like it's been all drywalled and everything. Let's make up the devices. And I'll show you how that all goes together. So the first thing that we'll do is we'll install our keyless receptacle. Any type of fixture can go on here, but I'm gonna use a keyless receptacle because it's the most straightforward wiring device you can do for a light outlet. So let's do that. It's a non-metallic box, don't really have to worry about grounds in here. There's no grounding connection on this keyless receptacle. So I'm just going to put this ground deep into the box. Okay. 
And as you know, as you probably know, you want right to tight, so you want to have your wire going around the screw to the right. White wire, black wire, neutral, grounded conductor, black wire, hot wire, switch leg. Chrome screw, neutral, bronze screw, black wire. And these correspond with the socket in here inside. So your outside socket, outside of your socket is gonna be one is gonna wanna be the white wire. Black wire is gonna be the deep connection inside the inside the socket. This is pretty much so when you're installing a, 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 a when you're installing a light bulb, your fingers are on the socket at all. You're not gonna you're part of the ground, so you'll, you'll avoid getting a shock that way. So it's just one switch, so we're gonna use a single pole switch, just two screws, straight switch, straight through. Give the ground. Two wires, one coming from the bottom is the feed, coming from the outlet from below it. The one above is going to the light, which is the switch leg. Want to have at least six inches in here for wire, but if you have too much wire, that becomes a problem too. So it's nice to have like at least six inches, say six, say minimum of six, maybe eight, no more than 10 inches of wire. And what I like to do is when I do a, a switch connection, I like to get my ground on here first. And again, you go around the screw to the right. And your screws are always gonna be on the right side. So you can always tell if you're putting a single pole switch in, if the screws are on the right side, the ground's on the top. That's pretty much how these switches go in. And what I like to do is feed the top of the switch with the feed. And the switch leg on the bottom screw. So here's the switch all made up. So now you, what you wanna do is fold all your wires into the box making sure your ground wire goes in the deepest. Switch installed. Now we got the outlet that we do and now complete this install. So the technical name for these are receptacles. So duplex, one, two, duplex, this is a decor style based upon the face of it. So it's a square face with two plugs. It's a duplex receptacle, but this is decor style. Okay, so same, same situation here, but the wire lengths, these look pretty good. I'm gonna trim them down a little bit. And again, I like to make up my ground first. Go around the, the ground, right to the right. Neutrals.
and then the hots. And again, hot wire is going to be on the right side. They're going to be the smaller tab. The larger tab is going to be the neutral. This is the U ground, so that's the ground wire. So again, you want to fold your wires right into the box, keeping, your, keeping the ground wire to close furthest to the back. And there you go, that's an install.